I'm Scott L. Miller. It's the 29th of July, 2022, and welcome to my vlog of daily life in Nicaragua. One of the challenges I have with doing the filming is that we've moved into the season where it rains almost every day, but it doesn't just rain. It rains suddenly with no warning. Now, you can look up in the sky and say, well, those are some threatening clouds, Scott. I think you would know that there's some potential rain coming, but it doesn't exactly work that way. The clouds are often there all day and you'll have bright skies and you'll be like, oh, it's hot and sunny and there's not a, and then it looks like this and you're getting rained on. You never really know what you're gonna get with more than a few minutes warning. So if I step outside to do any recording I could be caught in the rain so this has been a ongoing problem of trying to deal with that anytime I get a moment and my schedule has been absolutely crazy so uh, getting any time to, to get out at all has been really really tough and uh, it's just it's just been hard so today is Friday and it was not that bad in the office today we have a busy upcoming weekend plans with friends coming to visit and going out to the beach and we have a surf competition happening tomorrow uh, out at the beach and going all weekend so we're planning on being out there a bit uh, Dominica is going out tonight actually in the afternoon uh, because she needs to be there to help with things so early in the morning that she wants to wants to be there I do want to know hopefully this sounds good the last time that I used the GoPro to do some recording uh, I ended up with um, some bad audio. Now I tested this uh, and it was fine so hopefully all is well but I've been enjoying using uh, the tripod and the iPhone quite a bit recently so I really like how it looks. I love getting the, uh, the, the, the high dynamic range um, uh, color palette off of there. It's so gorgeous. It looks so great. Um, and I like that it focuses on me and gives me a little bit of blurry background. The GoPro focuses back there and gives it a little bit of blurry me. The difference is the iPhone actually has autofocus and a smaller aperture, or I'm sorry, and a larger aperture. The GoPro has a smaller aperture, like an F8, I think. I think the iPhone's a 5.6. They're not wildly different, but the GoPro is a fixed focus in the background. Uh, so I'm always a little bit out of focus. Even when I hold you way out here, it's just a little bit. And uh, if I get close, I'm blurry. Like there's just no, no getting around it. So I'm a little bit out of focus. I love how the iPhone actually puts me in focus and, and defocuses the background a little bit just from the, the depth of field. Uh, and so it looks really good most of the time. The GoPro is good for kind of just getting you the view of everything. Um, so you really get that, you know, able to see where I am much more than you can with the iPhone. There's no doubt about that. And it's got the incredible image stabilization. So things like this, where I'm just gonna walk around, hold the camera, show you where I am and let you kind of experience Nicaragua along with me. Yes, the GoPro is really, really good for that. And I do enjoy getting to use it. Um, but the iPhone has been a lot of fun and I'm learning a lot of new stuff on uh, Final Cut Pro. And I've, I've mastered quite a few different things of, of getting the image quality up and being able to do uh, HLG HDR editing. So that's been, that's been cool. So Dominica is out uh, tonight at the beach. Uh, so a group of us are going out this evening just to hang out uh, because last night uh, Dominica and I went out and we were hoping that Alan and Anna were gonna be able to come out with us, but they, uh, Alan wasn't feeling great. So they didn't come out last night, but they definitely wanted to come out tonight. So a bunch of us went out to Twins restaurant in Sutiava. We had not been out there yet. We'd never even heard of it. And I think Alan found it on Facebook, like an ad popped up and he's like, oh, this is great. There's a new steak place or a new to us steak place, not, not actually new. Um, and it looked really interesting. So we managed to get out there uh, right as it was about to close. Like it was, it was quite late, uh, but they got out there and they're like, please don't close. We want to come to dinner. And they're like, oh my gosh, people coming to dinner. Of course we're going to stay open uh, because I'm pretty sure we represented about half of their entire evening's uh, traffic because there were five of us. Uh, so we got out there um, and, uh, and did dinner. For me, I got shrimp. There was not a lot of vegetarian options, but that there was anything at a steakhouse uh, was, was, was a pretty good deal. I have to say though, the shrimp had essentially no flavor. Nothing was bad, just nothing had any flavor. It was bland as bland could be. I don't think I would really do it again. The price wasn't bad. The service was okay, really slow and a little bit clueless, I think. But overall, it was completely fine. Like I, I would go back, I didn't have a problem. But the food was so bland, I can't imagine paying to eat there again. It just very lackluster. Um, Paul and, and Alan got steaks. Paul got a tomahawk and, and Alan got a New York uh, strip. 
and both of them had very similar reactions that the food wasn't actually bad but it wasn't really very good and, and not really worth it and Sutiyava is a bit farther away for us to go to than going to the normal steakhouses that are in the middle of town so unfortunately overall the the verdict was it was kind of a lame restaurant that we probably won't be going back to even though the location was super cool because it is in Sutiava, which is obviously the western barrio uh, and it was over by the church on the southwest corner of the plaza which is just a cool location. We had no idea there would be a restaurant of any sort out there, let alone a steakhouse. And it was like, not, I wouldn't say fancy, but it was fancy-ish. They had neon lights on the wall so you could do uh, Instagram pictures with it. And they had uh, a bit of design. Like the whole place was, it was nice and in a, in a good spot, um, but it just didn't, didn't live up to any level of expectation so that was that was very sad uh, but that was the big thing that we did this evening also going on in leon this weekend is the ruben dario festival uh, it's known as something like dario azul ruben dario for those who are not aware is nicaragua's most famous son he is the equivalent of shakespeare in the spanish world uh, and he was born here in leon and grew up or at least grew up here in Leon, and his childhood home is right around the corner from us in La Borio, not in Leon proper. Uh, so our barrio and and actually our block uh, east west is his block. So when we walk uh, up to um, the the main road coming into town, which of course its name is Ruben Dario, uh, that is his birth house and his museum uh, right there. So. It's uh, the big Ruben Dario Festival is held in Leon every year, and we did not have a chance to go out to it last year. Uh, and this year we didn't learn about it until the last second. We really should put that on the calendar. Next year, I hope to go out and film the whole thing extensively because there's like big concerts and uh, big exhibits in the plaza and everything. And like, it's really cool. Uh, so we're missing out. Um, and it's unfortunate because we had the, the surf competition this weekend, so we missed the whole thing uh, because of that. But I did go down uh, to the plaza this weekend, uh, and I did get just a couple shots of what was going on down there. I had gone down to get smoothies for everybody, um, which, which are fantastic. And the, the really good smoothie place is right there on the main plaza. So I was down there and got to see what they're doing. And they had like cool stuff. They have like some art exhibits, like uh, people from around Nicaragua doing paintings or whatever. Uh, and they have some of those out on the plaza. And they have obviously a lot of people just selling things uh, in general, like the normal um, uh, souvenirs and, and clothing or whatever that are sold in the markets. Um, but more of them because everybody comes out because it's just such a popular time to be there. And then there's also some almost like museum exhibits i would call it where you have basically uh much like you would find at, at the museum of myths and legends that we went to not too long ago uh they had inside the museum uh the different rooms were set up to tell a story of a different myth or legend or a little bit of history or tell about a specific person so they're little biopic rooms or whatever and they had a very similar thing at the plaza where they set up these outdoor booths and each one represented like a community or a bit of history or or something and so you would just walk through the plaza and it was kind of like an open-air museum that was put together for the Ruben Dario Festival. So very cool. I wish I'd had a lot more time to go there. It was all such a rushed weekend uh, and we were going out to the beach all weekend. So there's just no time to come out and enjoy it. And uh, so yeah, that's what was going on in Leon this weekend. Thanks for joining me. Please remember to like and subscribe. Hopefully the GoPro turns out well today. Uh, and I will see all of you tomorrow.